boy yet? I don't think we saw him. I there. want to get a shot of Tommy Boy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a dog with glasses. That would be fun. <laughs> All, right. All right, so there were some clouds uh, here today, but we were lucky enough to still have a great view of the clips. In fact, Mike and I, we had some handy dandy goggles that the station provided for us because, of course, otherwise we'd be unprepared. And, of course, everybody hijacked them <laughs> they, and they took did. them from us. We got to check it out. And yeah. I have to say, you know, I've been saying for the last week or so, I, I wasn't exactly... You didn't know what to expect. I did, well, I wasn't really about getting it. pumped up about it, but it was pretty neat to experience. It was kind of eerie to step out in the middle of the afternoon, and it's just subtly dark outside. You know, obviously we didn't go into totality, but it was quite noticeable across the area. And I thought as well, even to see the birds come out, you know, they're usually a little more tempered this time of the day when it's pretty hot out, but it seemed like came out a little more in numbers uh, during, the, during the peak of the solar eclipse there. So right. fortunately, everything worked out for us today. If it were tomorrow, different story. We've got thunderstorm chances returning to the area. Let me show you radar right now. It is relatively quiet outside across the WLWT viewing area, but just on the fringes of your television screen, thunderstorms not too far away across parts of central Indiana. I don't think we really have to worry much about rain around here this evening. It's going to stay relatively dry. Now, we have seen a few stray or rogue showers kind of pass their way across parts of southeast Indiana, Franklin, and then on up into parts of near areas near Liberty over towards Connor but for the most part, as you can see here, radar is pretty quiet, and I think it's going to stay that way for the better part of the evening and tonight. So here's a live look outside right now. Temperatures have shot back up. You know, during the eclipse, temperatures fell about five or six degrees between two and three o'clock, but we're back up now close to 90 at 88, and with humidity on the high side, our heat index is hovering in the low 90s out there. So that eclipse certainly felt a little good temperature wise. 90, pretty much common across the board. Aberdeen, Maysville, Georgetown, all at 90. Batavia at 90, a little bit cooler in southeast Indiana. That's because you're closer to those storms and you have more clouds to offer a little bit of shade. So if you're doing something this evening, expect dry weather. I'm going to keep a small chance in there for a stray storm, but I think most of us are going to remain rain free through the dinner time hours. Let me show you the weather map here tonight. A matter of fact, on this satellite image, once again, notice how you lose the cloud cover. All of a sudden everything goes gray. That's the moon shadow passing over the earth, but you can clearly see these thunderstorms out to our west here this evening. That's in the humid air. I think that stays out to our west. However, this frontal system tonight that's out in the center part of the nation that is going to sweep into the Ohio Valley tomorrow and bring us widespread shower and thunderstorm opportunities. Watch Futurecast here and you'll see what I mean. I think aside from a a couple of stray showers possible in southeast Indiana. This activity that's to our west now going to fall apart. Here's a look at nine o'clock and then as we go into the overnight hours, it's relatively quiet. As we get towards morning tomorrow, rain chances will begin to increase significantly first across parts of southeast Indiana. And then I think during the late morning, early afternoon, as that cold front begins to approach the air, the area probably as early as lunchtime, widespread showers and thunderstorms will begin to develop. There's a small chance that a few of the storms could be on the stronger side, but I don't think we're talking about a significant severe weather situation here, but I wouldn't rule out maybe a warning or two for some gusty winds. And then tomorrow evening that activity begins to fade. And you know what? If you're not a fan of heat and humidity, I've got a nice taste, a nice preview of fall coming in here for Tuesday night and Wednesday. And really we've got a great stretch of weather that does not look and feel like August to take us into the weekend. So 71 for a low tonight. We'll have some clouds around. It'll be relatively muggy and uncomfortable out as we'll spend the night in the 70s. And then tomorrow, thunderstorms likely humid. Look for a high in the mid 80s. Here's a look at your day planner. There could again be rain first thing in the morning, especially farther west of Cincinnati. Low 70s at 8 a.m. up to 84 by lunchtime. And then we'll have hit and miss storms around the area through the afternoon and evening. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. And this is what I'm talking about. Get this stretch of 70s. This is late August folks, so we could be in the hottest time of the year here, but look at this highs only in the mid 70s from midweek through the weekend. So you've got plenty of time to do anything outdoors and overnight lows a little on the cool side for this time of the year down into the mid 50s. All right, Kevin, thank you. Just in time for all.